Hello and welcome to Annapolis City Digest. I'm Rhonda Wardlaw. Making headlines, the Market House is seeking a new operator after Lear Jackson bowed out of negotiations on February 14th. The City Council agreed during its meeting to set aside the 30-year lease with Gone to Market LLC and establish a formal bidding process for the operation of the downtown market. Still, the City reaffirmed its commitment to the historic market by weighing in on three pieces of legislation. The Council voted against a resolution that proposed to sell the market house remaining steadfast to its commitment to act as a custodian of the historic asset. The council also approved a $500,000 budget transfer to renovate the market house. That funding will go toward the installation of an upgrade air conditioning and heating system, as well as sprinklers under the eaves and reconfiguring the utilities to improve the floor plan of the 5,000 square foot market. Now, in addition, council passed a resolution to request $250,000 in state support for the market house. Found a market, the Baltimore more based developer informed the mayor that it will submit its proposal when the new request for proposals is announced. And the Market House certainly has had its share of time before Economic Matters Committee. And here to fill us in on the most recent issues is Ward 2 Alderman and Committee Chair Fred Payone. For the last six weeks, we've been studying the proposed Market House lease. We have had three public hearings and heard from between 40 and 50 of our citizens here in Annapolis. These people had all taken the time and trouble to read the lease. These were professionals, in many cases commercial realtors themselves, business owners, and um, uh, some landlords also. But the, what we heard loud and clear from every expert, virtually every expert, was that uh, this lease should be rejected and the committee uh, acted accordingly. Uh, I, for one, think that we have a good deal of expertise here in the city of Annapolis, and it's about time the city started listening uh, to the experts that we have. The proposal uh, from the Lair Jackson group was uh, ge generally acceptable. As a matter of fact, many of us thought it, it's quite good. However, uh, I think the, the overwhelming feeling was that if the deal can't be worked out, then uh, it's not in the city's best interest and we wouldn't be doing our job if we recommended approval of this lease. Thank you, Alderman Payon. In other City Council news, Council voted on the $10 million line of credit and restructuring of up to $30 million in existing bond debt. The restructuring will allow the City to recover nearly $18 million in on-hand cash for the next seven years, as well as about $6 million in fresh debt devoted to capital projects. In another effort to get finances on solid footing, the City Council also approved a change to the Charter last week, raising the City's credit limit from $5 million to ten million dollars. And as Mayor Cohen and the City Council prepare for the upcoming budget deliberations, they are reviewing city services to ensure City Hall is making effective as well as efficient use of taxpayer dollars. And to that end, they want to hear from you about your satisfaction with City TV, this public television studio, which offers programming on television as well as online. Now, our programming includes all City Council meetings, work sessions, some uh, committee meetings, as well as social, cultural, and economic uh, events. City TV covers news and promotes business, government, and community partnerships in and around the city, such as the Housing Authority, the Conference and Visitors Bureau, the Annapolis Economic Development Corporation, and the Annapolis Business Association. City TV offers 24-7 broadcasting on Verizon, Channel 34, as well as Comcast, which is on Channel 99, as well as Channel 100. Now, programming is also available on the web at annapolis.gov. You can view us on YouTube, iTunes, as well as blip.tv. So please, we ask you to just take out a minute and fill out the survey. All you have to do is go to annapolis.gov, then click on City TV Survey, which you'll find under Hot Topics at the bottom left side of the screen, or you can go to Announcements on the home page. Well, the Community Transportation Association of America hosted a recent summit for the City of Annapolis to conclude the Greater Annapolis Mobility Matters Project. Five action teams that were formed during its first summit in July presented strategies and continuing efforts for the coming year to enhance mobility in and around Maryland's capital city. The goal of the project is to bring together transit, parking, 
traffic, and planning functions that serve drivers, pedestrians, transit riders, bicyclists, and of course, our area business. And speaking of transportation, Annapolis Transit recently responded to customer complaints by completely overhauling its current bus system, including new buses, a new bus route, and a new outlook on employee morale. Citizens voiced their complaints last year about the city's bus service, and Annapolis Transit listened. They responded with much improved customer service. City TV produced a short video with Transportation Director Richard Newell discussing the reasons for the improved performance, as well as the pri priorities for the Annapolis Transit as they move ahead. Now, you can watch this video by going to annapolis.gov and clicking on the slide on our home page, or you can go directly to it by typing the address that you see at the bottom of the screen. And that wraps it up for this edition of Annapolis City Digest. If you'd like more information on any of these stories, please drop me an email at rwardlaw at annapolis.gov or just call 410-263-7997. Until next time, we hope that you stay updated by staying in touch.